It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th, but keep in mind that the timing is still fluid, okay, and this reading may or may not be for you. Not every reading is for you, but we're going to, you know, hope that this plays out or, you know, <laughs> the universe is in control of the timing but let me just see what this week may or may not bring for you or bring for you in the future okay the energy of this week will bring in for you in the future so uh, if you celebrate Christmas Merry Christmas if uh, you celebrate the winter solstice uh, happy winter solstice so what do we have for Taurus Sun Moon rising in Venus for the week of December 21st through the 27th and overall energy please awareness so this is the magician card so this is a high awareness a divine connection so right now you have a divine connection to the to the other world Okay, this is a card of manifestation, so really, really be careful with your thoughts. This is a very, very powerful week of manifesting for you. So what you think is what you're going to get. This is as above, so below. So what it, whatever you're thinking is what you're going to get. So make sure you're thinking positive, okay? Um, so this is a time of, of, this is a golden opportunity, Okay, you're in, you have some sort of magic power. Okay, you, they're listening. Okay, they're listening. So really ask for what you want, envision it, and see it happening, and it will, and it will, and you'll be successful because this is a card of success. So whatever it is that you're asking for, if you believe, you'll get it. Okay, this is a yes answer. The answer is yes. Okay, now this is also a card of action. Okay, your actions, you know, your thoughts become things. And your actions, whatever you do, you know, is going to bring you success. So it's a, it's a week of success and taking action to bring success. May, uh, mainly, I believe, with your, your thoughts. Okay, I feel like you have some skills. I think, I think that you may need to take charge. You may need to get creative. Okay. Um, you may need to do something, okay? Um, you have the resources to succeed. Maybe all you have to do is believe it. So that is a yes answer to one of your questions. If you've been worried about something, stop worrying. Oh, we got a month. Fell out. So let's see. What do we have for Taurus? One more card or two. Whoops. I guess we'll go with these. Since they did fall. Taurus. Nest an emotional uh, and emotionally secure loving family is important to you. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. May, the month of May may be prominent. Now a lot of you are born in May, right? Um... Something to do with the month of May. You could be dealing with somebody also that is born in the month of May. You are definitely manifesting something. You will overcome a problem as long as you are strong and you don't give up. This may have to do with your family. There's going to be something to do with your family. Camels are usually moving in a new direction. So you may be moving in a new direction. There may be, there may be some hurdles. You know, it may get, you may feel like giving up at times. 
uh, <laughs> too much concern with sexual matters. Maybe you, you know, need to not worry so much about that. Anyhow, you know, there's something to do with the month of May, and I feel like it has to do with, for some of you, it has to do with your birthday, but then again, some of you are born in, uh, in April. Um, May is when you start to see some sort of blossoms. You start to see some sort of real um, reward by the looks of things. But I also feel like you could be dealing with somebody that, or it's yourself. Um, this is that may have to do with your family, you know, and you want security, you want peace. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for the week of? December 21st through the 27th. Something is really going to be blossoming in May. That's something. It's like that's when things start to really, really uh, open up for you. It's like that's when you start to feel in your power again. You're feeling really, really, really good by May 2021. It starts this week. So this week is the change, and by then, by then you reap some sort of reward. And I feel like it's peace. You're at peace, you know. Two of Swords, first card. So there's there's a blockage here. This is fear, worry, anxiety. You're anxious about something. You need to you need to let go of that anxiety. I feel like your your emotions are all over the place. Okay, you may be blocking your own success with your thoughts. This is turmoil. I feel like you're in some sort of state of turmoil. You may not be able to see something clearly because you're so fearful. This is fear. Okay? I feel like you're in a state of fear. Okay? So you're not seeing something. There's anxiety, overwhelming anxiety. I think you you need you need to face your fears in some way. You, you you may not be this is like blindness. You're not seeing something. You're missing something. You probably have to make a choice as well because the two of swords is about choices and that was upright when it flipped. So you're going to make a choice. You got to listen to your gut. Believe, have faith. Have faith that you are making a choice, uh, the right choice. I think that you're making a very painful, difficult choice this week. And I feel like you need to really believe in yourself. You need to listen to your gut and have faith. You are being guided. This is divine guidance. This one is too. So you have some sort of divine guidance here. You're gonna you're in some sort of power. Okay, this is the this is the Hierophant is the highest authority, even higher than the Emperor. So you have some sort of authority. You may even have some sort of gift, and this is magic as well. This, so this is magic, and this is a gift. So you may have some sort of divine gift that you have been blocking. That's for somebody I don't know who, but this is blocking a gift. You have a gift. Listen, listen, really listen, listen to the higher power. Please, and listen to your gut. Really listen. Believe. Believe. Have faith. Have faith that you're going to get what you ask for. You may be blocking your own success because of your fear. Let go of your fear. Okay? Mm, something about going south. Now that is going south. Lack of vision. Not seeing something clearly. You're definitely not seeing something. Ooh. Four of Wands reverse. Now the Four of Wands reverse is this party is over. This is a mess. It's it's unhappy. It's somebody could be moving, okay, with the Four of Wands. It could change be changing homes. The Four of Wands reversed is lack of commitment, no desire. Um, something isn't growing. There's a lack of growth here. 
lack of excitement, lack of desire, no growth, lack of um, happiness. So there's 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 an unhappy foundation here. Somebody is is blocking their own happiness. This is blocking, and this is happiness. They are because they're not seeing something. They're not listening to their gut. Anyhow, the four of wands reverse is, is it's, it, this is a messy situation. It's time to clean up this mess. It's time. Somebody's in a commitment that they're not happy in. Okay, there's there's no, there may not even be any attraction there with the ace of wands reverse. There's no attraction. There's no desire. There's no excitement they're being weighed, weighed down weighed down by a maybe a commitment that they don't really want maybe it's a marriage or a commitment that they don't really want to be in and they're torn torn between two options you know two choices you know should i stay in this commitment even though there's no attraction even though there's no good sex or and i'm just i don't know we have sexual matters here and this lack of sex i'm just being honest with you so you know should i stay or should i go you know um or there's just no attraction. There's no passion. It may be a there may be a passionless partnership, and it doesn't have to be a lover. Whatever this is, there's there's some sort of commitment here where there's no excitement, okay? And there's a need to. Uh, it's over. It's like the honeymoon is over. The party is over. It's just not happy, you know. Um, Fresh start. This is an opportunity. It's an exciting opportunity for you to uh, start over. So you haven't. This is this is week where you need to make a decision, and there, and you need to have faith, and you need to believe. This is this is a chance for you to start fresh, but you're being weighed down by some sort of commitment. Some yeah, you're being weighed down by a commitment, but you are going to be given an opportunity to start with a clean slate, and you're and this is risky. I feel like you, you're going to need to take a risk. And you notice it's pointing right up at the Hierophant. Believe, have faith. What does your gut tell you to do? It's like your gut is telling you that it's time to go. The, the, the fool is movement. This is a new phase. This is taking a risk. It's acting on impulse. It's stepping in the new territory. And this is, again, blind faith. And this is faith. You need to have faith. You need to just, you know, and you really need to have blind faith. Let go of that fear. Some of you are really in a passionless situation where there's no growth and you're going to need to take a risk and follow your gut. Your gut is telling you to do something. Just do it. Just do it. Have no fear. Seriously, have no fear. This is an exciting time. It's a time where you could... I don't know, be, 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 some of you are moving or you're planning a move, um, starting from scratch, starting fresh, take a leap of faith, okay? Have faith. Whatever you're asking for is manifesting. This is leaving behind a commitment that is already over. It's already over. There's no happiness here. This is starting a new journey. This is this is really starting a new journey. But you have to have faith. And don't worry about what society says. Because society is in this reading. Okay? And that's part of the problem. Somebody may want a commitment. You know, for some of you. Or they're, they're fearful of commitment. Could go either way. There could be a new commitment coming in. Definitely torn in two directions you are. Ooh, definitely torn in two directions. So this is a need to be flexible, a need to adapt. You're, you, the change is coming. It's time for change. You are, you are going to be experiencing a change, and it starts this week, and you're going to have to make a choice. Okay? So I feel like this week, you know, it's a, probably a balancing act. You may need to balance out um, your books. You may be working on your money. You may be um, saving money, trying to save money. Um, and I feel like you're trying to save money because you're trying to break free from something because the Fool card is freedom. You may need to, uh, I think you're, you're 
Well, that card's a card of juggling. It's like you're juggling. You're going back and forth, which I can see that you are. You are going back and forth in regards to a choice that you need to make. Your gut is telling you to make this choice, to choose one or the other. But you're not really listening to your gut. And this week you are going to start listening because your gut is really going to be talking to you. Um, there's some sort of realignment that is happening. It's like the higher power is trying to realign you in the right direction. Um, but you have to open your eyes. Um, you have to trust and you have to have faith in this new direction. So, um, it's always your choice. It feels like though you've been missing something. You've been missing the boat. You've been missing something. Something's been happening in the background and you've been too busy doing other things. You know, not seeing an opportunity. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, just trying to keep your life balanced. Um, there's a profit and a loss here with this card and what goes around comes around. So something is coming around for you. Do not miss the boat. Do not miss the boat. Turn around. See it. See that you have an opportunity. You have a golden opportunity here. You, all you have to do is open your eyes and take the opportunity. I feel like this is, this is about leaving everything behind that you've known. This is, it's like, this is leaving something behind. It's, it's, it's moving forward with the experiences that you have gained from whatever this partnership or relationship or whatever commitment was and starting over from scratch. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but because this is a profit and a loss. You you gain some, you lose some. Have faith that this is happening for a reason. Okay? So this week, I feel like you are making a painful, stressful decision. I feel like you're trying to make the right decision. You're going to... You're, you're, you're something to do with money as well. That may, money may be one of the reasons. You know, you may be trying to... It feels like save, you know, you're trying to save. Um, anyway, what is this two of pentacles? There's the two of pentacles is an alignment of some sort. Trying to find balance. Um, making a financial decision. You may be making a financial decision this week. Hmm. Five of Cups reverse. That's beginning to see that there's a better option. <laughs> yes, sir. You are. You're beginning to see that there is a better option. This is, okay? This is uh, letting letting something go, focusing on the future, you know? Beginning to realize, beginning re to realize that there's something better for you after you've been sulking, wallowing, having regrets. Uh, sad, worried. I see a lot of worry here. Anxious, you know, uh, sorrowful, you know, with the Five of Cups. You've been feeling sad, feeling like, oh my God, am I making the right decision? Yes, you're making the right decision. You are. It's time to stop crying over this. It's time to stop wasting your time crying over something that is emotionally disappointing. And I feel like that's what you've been doing. You have another opportunity waiting for you. Maybe if this is about love, maybe it's in May. Okay, we got the Hierophant here. The Hierophant is Taurus, born in May. We have May here. Maybe you're, but you have to make a choice right now. Okay, we have choices here. Okay, you need to make a choice right now. And you're going to need to step forward with blind faith. Okay, and you're going to need to have trust and you're going to need to believe. You are being guided. You are being guided out of an emotionally disappointing situation where there is no growth. But you're going to have to have trust. And following your gut is key. You see the key? Okay? Following your gut is key. Okay? Do not let anybody try to change your mind. Listen to your gut. So anyway, Taurus, I feel like you're, you've got some problems because of that persevere, that camel. But you will, you will, you will persevere. You will have an emotionally secure um, nest per se, but you're, it comes with you making a choice based on what your gut is telling you to do. Okay. The two of pentacles is a change. A change is needed. You can't, you gotta, you gotta make a choice. This is a week of making a choice. Okay. Um, 
making it's, it's not, and so for some of you it's a financial decision um, and this fight this this decision could really make you happy could give you a fresh start you know um, but it is also stepping into unknown territory and leaving behind a commitment that you know you've gained some experiences from you know take those experiences and just Focus on the future. Leave them behind. The fool starts a journey. Does not take anything with them. Him or her. It's like I'm leaving it all behind. I'm taking the experiences and that's it. And I'm going someplace else. So you're going someplace else. It feels like you're making a, a big move. This is starting a new journey. walking away from something you are this is you are walking away from something you are you may be dealing with somebody that is mentally dysfunctional a hostile environment okay i mean that's that's walking away it's it, it's 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 just saying goodbye i don't want to fight with you anymore i don't want to fight i just want peace i know this this is peace the five of swords reverse is peace so you, you are headed towards peace by leaving something behind. So I feel like this week you're making a big financial decision to leave behind an emotionally disappointing situ commitment, something you've been committed to. I think that you've been torn. You've been going back and forth. You have some sort of loyalty to... Uh, one of these options but you want to be free so I feel like this is a week where you take action because the magician takes action you're gonna be getting a golden opportunity my advice is to go for it You could be parting ways with somebody as well. This is parting ways from with friends, family, a lover. This is parting ways. You know? This could be a termination. There's been a lack of emotional growth. There's been a lot of competitiveness. There could have even been a third party situation. There is parting ways. There is. So this week, I feel like you're making a decision to part ways. Because you're ready for freedom. You're ready for your new life. You are. And it's a time of change and realignment for you. So really pay attention to your thoughts. You've manifested a new opportunity that is leading you down a path that you have never been down. Good luck.